Hey ladies, how are you guys? It's Janice Batista and we are here this Friday morning doing another video for you guys. And this morning we are going to be talking about marriages um, and how Satan has no part in your marriage or in your relationship. So if you know anybody that's going through any issues in their marriage or in their relationship, definitely share this video with them on your Facebook page. Share it with someone on um, te by text. Send this video to them. Um, you know, share it with, with all your followers, amen, so that they can be blessed by this video as well. Um, I know that for me, it is very important to, you know, always talk to the marriages and talk about the function of the marriage. And, you know, this is just something that God placed on my heart this morning to talk about. So without further ado, let's get started, amen. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was it the, the, the function of the marriage, okay? God created the marriage to be fruitful and multiply right and he created the woman with a purpose he said it is not good for the man to be alone so he created the woman so that the woman could be his helpmate okay a lot of women have a hard time being the helpmate to the man a lot of women you know and it's not to bash the women today but i'm just being totally honest they have this spirit in them that that wants the man to figure things out on his own you know they think that because a big strong handsome man that you know he can just figure things out on his own and the truth of the matter is that we cannot assume that men because they're big and strong and handsome that they just know everything god created the woman to have wisdom you see us women we have a spirit spiritual wisdom that the man does not have and I'm gonna give you a perfect example Adam and Eve look in the beginning how he blamed what was his instinct when God told them don't eat from the fruit right what happened he got when God came and was like listen what happened here Adam was like oh it's the woman that you gave me but what did Eve do Eve was like oh my god the serpent he tricked me right she was wise enough at least to know the difference okay to know that it was Satan you know Adam to get out of the blame he was just like yo it was the woman he just blamed the woman because they don't like to you know take the responsibility and I know that in a marriage marriage is not easy I know that it's hard for women to deal with their husbands when they're stubborn when they don't want to hear nothing when they're hard-headed I know that sometimes it just something you may feel like you just want to pack up your bags and just walk out on your marriage and walk out on your kids walk out on everybody take the kids leave the kids you just you know go through these motions where you just want to give up and that is not the plan that God created for us marriages God created the marriages like I said to be fruitful and to multiply the man has to go out there be the breadwinner bring the you know because the home needs to function in the right way and one of the ways that the home functions is it a home has to be clean right nobody wants to live in a home where it's dirty and it's filthy right and if you're a woman that you're at home every day and the man is out there making the bacon bringing it home so that you know you can he can provide a roof over your head and the woman is not working and you know I know she has little ones we have to wake up every day and handle the same responsibilities we have to get up and clean the house we got to get up and we got to take care of the children we got to get up we got to you know prepare the husband's lunches and and make sure that they're good and they're situated right or you know we have a responsibility as women and I know that you know and the house has the responsibility responsibilities in the house the you know the women are the ones that take care of that but I know that we're living in a time now where women you know don't some women may not have that luxury to stay home and you know they have to go out there and be the breadwinner and some of them are in school and I understand that when a woman is going to school and a woman is working you know um that the the responsibility in the house has to be split between the two of them so i understand you know when that happens but the beautiful thing about god is we got to remember to do things in a godly way in a godly form it is not good for the man to come home from work and be be neglected you know spiritually physically and all that stuff because god created us as the women to have wisdom we have to know how to observe and how to handle things especially Especially in our marriage when it comes to taking care of the home when it comes to taking care of the kids and even taking care of the man sexually 
it is our responsibility to help our husbands even when they're sexually frustrated and i know sometimes women may be like you know so and i, and I, I don't know who i'm preaching to this morning but i'm being transparent we cannot let always the man or oh, go you know go take care of yourself you know deal with yourself the man also wants you know we have to help them because that is the way sometimes women will look at men oh that's all you think about is just sex 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 look god we when you have a relationship with god god created the man to be a certain way and men you know every two days every three days they have to like you know ejaculate they have to like let it out right so you know i don't care if anybody's looking at this video and be like what is she talking about and how she has the audacity look i'm talking to the married folks this morning or you know even women that are listening that are thinking about getting married married marriage is not easy you know when you have a family when you start having them babies and you start you know things like that we have to understand that marriage is a a, a, a covenant with god we have to take care of our marriages that's why you see satan coming into all the marriages and what you see the men going out there committing fornication it's not good that he commits fornication but if you don't even take care of him sexually you're opening up the door so that satan can come in and seduce the man with sexual temptation because you're not handling your responsibility as a woman of god and i know that sometimes you may not want to handle your responsibilities but like i always tell people there's so many ways for you to handle your responsibilities sexually to help there's so many things that god created you know the hands the mouth whatever there's so many things that god has created for us to take care of our husbands and we cannot be naive we cannot be weak in this area because those are one of the strongholds that satan has on a lot of marriages nowadays because they don't understand the way god created them he said be fruitful and multiply that means that god wanted the marriages to engage in sexual activity why because that is part of the marriage that is part of who we are you know and sometimes the man doesn't want to hear always is them looking for um you know sexual intimacy they want to know also that you desire them that you desire to be with them men you know that's the their way of expressing themselves so that that's a man's way of telling his woman that he loves them to give her some sexually right that's their way of showing baby let me show you how much i love you right us women we're different we're more emotional we want to always talk more and we want the flowers and we want them to open up the car door we want them to come and cook dinner we want them to take off the you know take the burden off our hands you know um you know take care of the kids guys who are listening i'm giving you guys some tips okay that's what we want as women we want you know meant to show us they love us in that area right but if the marriage would just get on the same boat with god and and do things the way he created them we would be able to take care <clears throat> of each other's needs and the home will be able to function more healthy it, the home will be more functional now i'm not saying that as a christian you guys ain't gonna have no problems every marriage has i'll be lying to you if i sat here and told you you know i know i'm very aware and i always take try to take care of my husband in that area sexually i always try to take care of things in the house always cooking and stuff like that and it's not easy sometimes i just don't i mean i want to cook maybe i'm tired i've been on the computer you know lately school started i've been on the computer like seven eight hours a day i'm exhausted but and you know sometimes the kids need you and i homeschool and you know we got to juggle the homeschooling we got to juggle time for ourselves we have to you know do things for the glory and the honor of god and i don't tell any of you guys this so that i can boast but i tell you guys so that we could be all be responsible we have to know that there's an adversary there's an enemy satan and his demons there's witches out there that are consistently working throwing curses throwing um a whole bunch of you know darts satan is throwing a whole bunch of darts at christian homes at christian families why so that they don't don't function in this healthy manner so that they don't function you know satan does everything in his power so that the woman does not want to be sexually intimate so that the men can be inferior <clears throat> part of that is also a jezebel spirit you know to take away the power from the man so that he could feel powerless oh i have the control i decide when you get some of this you know i decide but you know the bible says that you know it is not good for you know 
for that the only way people should be whoever's the only reason a marriage a husband and a wife shouldn't be sexually intimate because our body the bible says doesn't belong to us so if my husband has desires i have to be able to yield my body to him to fulfill his desires likewise for the women because our bodies is not our own but the only re like the only way that we should withhold sexual intimacy is if it's on to the two of agree so if the two agree um for for spiritual reasons so that you can have that retreat with god so like let's say you want to go on a two-day retreat with the lord and you just want to separate yourself in prayer you know not separate you not tell your husband oh yeah i'm gonna go on a two-day retreat and be sitting there watching netflix no a two-day prayer like you're working at home and you just be like babe i don't want to have no sexual intimacy for like two or three days i want to like you know really take this time to just like you know be apart with the lord and just seek his presence and just you know those when the two agree so that means the, the bible says this so that means that if the husband doesn't agree that means that you know he 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 can't hold on those three days so we have to just use wisdom when it comes to and i don't know why this is going in a sexual way today but you know god knows you know we give all the glory and all the honor to god and it's a blessing to talk about things like this i know that i talk about things that a lot of people may not feel comfortable talking about but you know what i know that god called me to a certain type of people and the people that i'm called to we could keep it real and, I, and i'm thankful that with my facebook friends i can just keep it real with you guys i can just be transparent with you guys because it hurts me when i see you know broken marriages i had broken relationship i had you know so many problems and past relationships too so the things that i'm telling you is from experience is from a place you know when when for when you see marriages breaking apart because the adultery is an ugly picture you got people that die you got people you know that can die physically you got people that are hurt because two people just hurting each other because they don't know how to be honest they don't know how to be transparent within the marriages and you know a marriage has to function in a biblical order and i want to talk to even to the relationships those of you that are even thinking about getting married those of you you know marriage is not easy but don't live a life in sin don't be fornicating live you know i i, I see people all the time living together and you know they're not married you know don't let don't give satan no more opportunity to come in and and devour your spiritual you know walk because if you're like a christian and you're walking in god's ways and guess what you start fornicating and stuff like that that weakens you that weakens your calling because you're allowing sin to come in and take over if you love that woman put a ring on that finger and just you know do things in a godly holy way glorify the lord in all that you do you know because it's so it's so much temptation especially for the young people if you don't put a ring on that thing man is another guy will come and sweep that up and you know you just want to you want to be committed you know show that person that you're committed in your relationship show that person you know take care of that person whatever you love you take care of right you you, you got pets you got to take care of your pets you got a um you know your husband you got to take care of your husband you got a fiance you got to take care of your fiance a lot of people they run away from those responsibilities and one of the things that the lord was allowing me to see this morning that he wanted me to talk about also is a husband and a wife being on the same page we have to make sure that whatever the decisions are made within the marriage are made together because so many marriages and relationships fail because the wife always wants to take over the fiance wants to take over they don't want to hear what the other person is saying especially when it comes to money and finances the woman wants to buy a fifty thousand dollar maserati or whatever and the the husband just wants to get a little honda civic for 1200 you know it's just little things like that that if we come we come together on the same page we will you know we, we won't give the enemy any part in our lives and that's what the topic is today Satan and his demons they have no part in your marriage they have no part in your relationship we as women of god have to know how to fight against the enemy and the way we fight against the enemy is through the word of god okay and um the word that i'm going to be reading today is in ecclesiastic I think I don't know if I said it right. Um, 412, but it's the word of God is read in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says, through one may be overpowered. It says, but two can can defend themselves. Now look at this one. It says, but a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. What does that mean? That means that when a man and a woman have Christ in the center of their relationship, in the center of their marriage, in the center of their home, they will be able to withstand 
all of the tactics and the darts that the enemy excuse me tries to throw at them it means that you're going to be able to overcome i can you know and, and you have to for us to understand that we have to make sure that we are giving god the time that he needs and the time that he deserves throughout the day um you know i know you guys may be working or in school whatever i know the husband and wife may not be able to be together but when the husband comes home how much time are you giving to the Lord? Are you and your husband taking time out to sit down and watch a preaching? Are you guys taking time out to hear the word of God, to pray in God's presence? Are you guys praying for your relationship? I cannot stress to you guys how important that is, even if it's late. You know, one of the, the moments, the, the, the best moments that I have with my husband are those times where we come from work and we may be tired or whatever, and we are there in the presence of God for that half an hour, for that hour, just seeing what the Lord has for us because we as humans can't function without the word of God especially when we're married because we have to give so much of ourselves to the other person as a mom I know me I'm continuously giving myself over daily to my kids daily to my husband you know it's not easy you know giving yourself to the ministry to school to you know to your friends you know people so many people always expect so much of you and they you know and 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 I'm telling you because a lot of people whoever's listening you know you got to be careful talking about your pastors and don't be committing pastor abuse a lot of people always expect so much from the pastors you know when they have a, a whole load already on them I know us we don't have a, a huge congregation but but, you know we have a lot of responsibilities and we try to manage our time the best possible to fit our needs as a family so I'm not gonna neglect my husband to attend to members I'm not gonna neglect my kids to please other people and make sure that they always happy and that they always content because having a church is not like a daycare where you got to make sure you know when the kids are crying in the daycare and you got to run to each child a church and ministry is not like that we as Christians have to be wise we have to use wisdom we have to make sure that you know whatever it is that we love we take care of it we got to take care of our church we got to take care of our you know members we got to take care of our family we got to take care of our kids you know whatever it is that you love that's why God says where the desires of your heart are that's where you're gonna see what's important because people devote the the most attention and the most care to the things that they love you know and we have to use biblical wisdom as men and women of God so that Satan cannot come into the marriage we have to be praying continuously so that we can get to that next level and so that we can fulfill God's purpose here on earth amen so I pray that this message that I brought you guys this morning is a blessing to your life and remember if you guys are in the Greensboro area and you guys are looking for a home church and you guys want a place where you can grow with other believers it would be a privilege to have you guys I know me and my husband we get to counsel a lot of people and their marriage and it's a blessing and you know we praying that in the future you know God is gonna bring more marriages more um, families so that we can all work together in the family function for the body of Christ because when we pro when God calls us to prosper the the people that are in the church all of our friends all of our families they need to be prospering as well it's not just the pastors prospering no everybody in the congregation needs to be growing um, in the same mind and in the same accord and in the same spirit because that's how the disciples did it in the bible and that's how jesus wants us to do things and we take you know the bible is our example you know and you know we just want you guys to grow so if you guys like i said are in the greensboro area and you guys are looking for a church to fellowship definitely come check us out we have services every sunday at 11 o'clock a.m and i love you guys so much and i have to let you guys go because i'm going to the hair salon in a little bit with my friend um and i got uh, uh, some things i gotta get done but i love you guys so much okay have a good one